Brewing science is is kind of like music. You learn the, the fundamentals of music and then there's all different kinds of styles that play off the f certain fundamentals. But brewing is uh, is similar. I mean, there's, there's science that applies to all styles. Experience in brewing is, uh, is really invaluable. Uh, what you see, you work in different breweries, you see different systems and how they run their procedures. I, I would say before, when I first came to Oma Gang, we hadn't really ventured into non Belgian style beers, uh, so I'd say very Belgian driven. You know, uh, our yeast strain originally came from uh, from Belgium. The way we process the beers, the the fermentation temperatures, and so forth, very similar to Belgian top fermented beers. And I think that that's core to what we do, our Belgianness, uh, and I, it'll always will be. Not, not just because of our ownership from Duval, but just what has, was started here. But we have since then gotten into, you know, Nirvana has nothing to do with Belgian style. You use American ale yeast strain. Um, we emulate in terms of the constant strive uh, for excellence, implementing procedures, equipment, and so forth to, to continually, it's continuous improvement, continuously tweaking your process to make, the, to make the beer better and better and better. It's not always about, oh, just like, let's make new beers. No, let's make Rare Voss better and better, better, better. We, we were approached by HBO. They would describe either a character in the show that we wanted to tie the beer into or a, a place setting in the show. And then we would just take elements of the, those things and it would impact the ingredients we chose and you know the, the beer that we wanted them to make. We didn't want to make too complex or strong of a beer because we felt there'd be people having these beers and never had them before. Here you're taking cues from outside influences that someone else is kind of talking to and then using our brewing knowledge and, and experience to think, okay, we can envision this beer and what ingredients and process would we use to realize that beer. To me, Belgian beers are uh, microbiologically driven. The very unique uh, high ester producers, some high uh, phenol producers, uh, their fermentation temperatures uh, high even compared to other top fermented classical beers like say from from England or so forth. That's what makes Belgian beers unique to me is the different microbes across uh, all the different styles. For the different you know breweries that have been popping up, cideries, wineries, uh, distilleries, it really is becoming more and more of a destination and that coupled with just the, the beauty of uh, of central New York and all of New York State. I mean, I really, I've been throughout the country and New York State has pretty much everything. It has beautiful mountains, it has the ocean, it has big city, but you know, especially central New York, it's just a beautiful area and coupled with what's going on in the beverage, craft beverage industry, it's just a, a great place to come.